Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. This video will be the first of two that we will release almost simultaneously. The first one will concentrate on putting the fiberglass tape on the rails on our sea snark. Uh, actually, ours is a snark sunflower. And so anyway, uh, I was kind of perplexed as to what to do, and I had some fiberglass tape. We built them up, and I think we've made them extremely strong. The other thing it did is it sealed the inside liner uh, that you can just barely see with the boat flipped upside down. The second video will be actually doing our fiberglass work on the bottom, on the hull. And so anyway, we're glad you're here. Hopefully you'll get some uh, good tips out of this if you're working on a snark or want to try to fix one. They're wonderful little boats. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We're glad you're here. Uh, feel free to dig around in the channel. We have multiple boat projects that we've been working on over the years, and there are literally hundreds of videos. And a lot of it is my own trial and error and learning, and hopefully can share some information with you if you're stuck on something that you're working on. Well, if you do like what you find, I would ask you to consider subscribing. Let's jump in and do some more work on our snark. Well, we got the bottom all sanded and I have filled this gap in between this rail here. It kind of comes down and out and we basically sealed this liner that goes in the, the bottom of the boat with epoxy. When I go to put the fiberglass cloth on the bottom of here and come over, we're not going to be able to come over this lip and down. I'm actually thinking about sanding this foam down in some places it already is a little bit and just kind of making it a smoother transition and maybe putting some fiberglass tape on that before we fiberglass the bottom. I think that's gonna be my best answer. That's gonna be really strong the way it is. And certainly your rails can take a bit of a beating if you come into the dock or that sort of thing. So I've been thinking about it quite a bit and I don't want exposed foam, not with all the work that we've done at this point. So I think, I think we will try to just get a smoother transition down to there and then, and then put some fiberglass tape on it. Come back here and look at the transom. You're kind of getting to see my thought process. Boy, the bottom of that looks good. From the last sanding and fairing video that we did, we had about three more nights of getting this bottom just right. <laughs> so <clears throat> I spared you video on more sanding. Okay, so when we were looking at this before, you may have noticed that there were some places where this wasn't filled in real good. So I took a little bit of this total boat fare and just went over it and, and filled it in. I had sanded it down a lot, but now we're real smooth on here. We're going to just lightly sand that and then uh, put fiberglass tape on it. I had taken some painter's tape and run along the bottom of here on this, on this yellow liner part before um, I put the total boat fare on there. And so we, we've got all the little gaps filled in. Squeeze by here. There was some bad place right back here where it just wasn't quite filled all the way out. So now we've got that done in a little bit of glob right there. So sand that and then we'll put some fiberglass tape on it and then we should be able to fiberglass the bottom.
All right, I'm gonna put some fiberglass tape on this, but it's way too big. I think I'll cut it in half, and then uh, we should be able to run right along this rail here. Once we get that on, then we can do the bottom. All right, so I got this fiberglass tape just kind of just loosely taped on here with painter's tape and uh, coming down to where it meets up with where I've taped it off. And that should cover up this rail. And the only thing is, is it's still got this little lip right here. So we're kind of gonna have to cramp some epoxy in there to hold that down. The saving grace in this is that when we bring the other cloth over the top of it, we should be able to fix any imperfection. I'm just mixing up a small batch just a little bit and I'm using a foam brush to put this on with it will eat this foam but I can probably get uh, I can probably get halfway halfway where I'm going and then I'll just get another one it doesn't like eat it and let it deposit on there, it just starts getting real floppy. This is tricky right here, but I have a little bit of epoxy on here already, so it's kind of sticking to that, which is nice. The place where I'm going next where there's no tape, I went ahead and put epoxy on that. And there was a good lesson in that. Um, where I have this taped up there with the painter's tape, that became problematic because when I pulled it off of there, it'd want to pull what I'd already epoxied down, plus there wasn't any epoxy underneath those little tabs of, of tape. So it was kind of a learning process. You'll see how we do here in just a second. Hey, I'm going to change to a chip brush. The only problem with this is it's going to leave little hairs in it. Well, that is better, though. I got a new idea. Um, I'm going to paint this on here first where I want that tape to go and then we'll get a pair of gloves on and I'll just lay the tape right in there on top of it. Just glue it right down. It just wants to move around too much and with this little lip on here it's, uh, it's just troubling. And then I can go over the top of it once it's sitting on there and um, Fill, fill it in and, and make sure that it's soaked. But I think if I do this first, I'm gonna have a lot more control with it. Well, we got that smooth, that's nice. Prop this thing up here like this so that I wouldn't have so much of a vertical surface, but it is still very vertical. Um, at least it's closer to a better height as far as a working level. So that's at least good. All right. Let's see if we can just lay this right in here.
Boy, that's good because I can get that right down to the edge of that green tape. Kind of pull it, make sure I don't have any. Um, I'm not sorry I taped it on there first. I know now exactly how long it needed to be. So that works out really good. Boy, it's hard coming around curves like that. But look at that, man. That's just sticking right on there. Don't have any bubbles. That's awesome. Not fighting all these strings except for that one. Really kind of having to soak that to get that to lay down. I don't want to soak it so much that it floats. There's a fine line. Well, the whole thing took a long time to get all the way around the whole boat. But once I figured out the best way to do it, it went faster and it went on better. So we got the fiberglass tape all on the rails. Did a little bit of sanding this morning. Let's get the rough edges off. And uh, we are ready to put fiberglass cloth on. Let's see if we can get close up and see how the, how the rails look. Really pleased with the way this went on here. We got, got it sanded off so it's pretty smooth. I want it smooth everywhere because when I go to lay that cloth down, I don't want it to get snagged. So I believe we are ready. Should be fun. Yeah, this is going to be good. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.